Welcome to the Brotherhood Sports Podcast. My name is Nick, your host for the podcast here. Thank you so much for joining me this evening. Before we get started, I want you to ask, uh, or I'm going to ask you, uh, just give me a brief introduction about yourself, and then we will jump right in. My name is Fallon Beebe. I'm from Orange Beach, Alabama, and I'm committed to play at Northwest Florida State College. Awesome. Thank you so much for that. And like I said, welcome in, and thank you for joining me. So we're going to jump into these questions here. And the first one I got for you, you talked about uh, your committed to Northwest Florida State there. So talk, walk me through that recruiting process for you and just how that was for you, your family, and just kind of what that experience was like. Yeah, so um, my recruiting process, I kind of had a late start because for a while I, like, stopped playing travel softball and just was going to play school softball because I, like, had a bad experience and was, like, kind of getting burnt out with a coach. Yeah. And so I kind of just was, like, done with travel softball. I wanted a break. I wanted to, like, have, like, a – I don't know, high school experience and stuff. So I just kind of stopped playing. And when I started playing travel softball again, I didn't start playing until like the summer after my ninth grade year. And so, and that's when everybody like my age was starting to get into like the recruiting process and they had kind of like already started theirs. And so I was like kind of falling behind them. Not really, but to me, I felt like I was falling behind. Yeah. And like last summer, or after that I like was like bouncing around from teams and stuff because like my old organization when I played travel softball like dispersed and so I didn't have a team for a while and then I was like going from like different teams trying to find like a good one for me and so last summer I found the team I'm on now which I had already known the coach from like playing against him and like I had known some of the girls I'd like grown up playing travel softball with and against them and stuff. So I was like really comfortable whenever I like joined them and like picked up with them. And so after our tournament, we went to Chattanooga and they had all like been talking to college coaches and like knew how to like email them and stuff. And I kind of did it. So I like kind of felt like out of the know. And, um, but once I like joined their team, like they walked me through like how I do it. They set me up with like Aspen Godwin, who like she plays at Auburn or just yeah. graduated in Auburn. And so she like helped me like with stuff like I needed to know about the recruiting process and just like how to communicate with coaches and stuff like that. So that's how I kind of got started. Awesome. Well, thank you for that journey. And uh, everybody's kind of got a different journey with their recruiting process and everything. And certainly that's a journey for you there. So now let me ask you really just about motivation in your life. Like what keeps you motivated to keep wanting to work hard and, and you know, in this game, uh, in the classroom? on the field, off the field. What is that for you? Like, what are some motivating factors in your life? Definitely my family. I would say, like, my dad is huge on, like, pushing yourself. And not, like, he's just, like, always been, like, the one that pushes me the most. And, like, just knowing how much time and money my, like, family and my parents have all (laughs) put in to, like, me playing softball is definitely, like, huge motivational factor. Just because, like, I'm – I wouldn't say I'm like scared of disappointing them, but like I definitely would feel like I'm letting them down if I'm not doing my best because I know they do their best to like provide everything. Awesome. Gotcha. And Hey, it's always good to give the family a shout out there. I've gotten, I've gotten to meet a lot of uh, great parents uh, throughout this kind of when I go to games or stuff like that. So definitely they, they do a lot that's not seen. uh, So it's always good for that. So now let me ask you about just playing the sport in general. You know, what has this sport, you know, taught you that you kind of go outside and use in your everyday life? Definitely that, like, it's okay to fail. Like, because, like, growing up through softball, I've gone through a lot of bad times, (laughs) a lot of good times. But, and one of, like, my most favorite coaches of all time has taught me, like, this game is a game of failure and, like, you're going to it, but it's okay. Like, just get back up, keep doing it. You've been like, I've been taught everything. Like I know how to do it all, but I'm not going to succeed every time. Yes. But I'm going to come back. Like, I'm not going to stay failing. Like I'm the only one that can teach myself how to like keep going back up. Like, if that makes sense. Yeah, definitely. And I think, um, I heard a quote one time from a coach actually that said, you know, we don't really fail all the way until we just quit. So it's like, you know, like you said, you're not just going to stay there. Um, and I mean, I'm sure we all wish we could be up here all the time, but right. that's not that's not possible, um, especially in sports. 
because there's such a roller coaster of everything there. So now let me ask you one of the, what is like the biggest piece of advice you've gotten throughout this whole thing? Mm, I would say like one that's really stuck with me is just to like trust God because like, I don't know if you just, to me, my um, faith is like a really big thing in my life. I just believe that if I know that God has my back, like he will guide me through everything just to like not freak out. Like God has a plan. That's like pretty much like my biggest like motto. I would say like God has a plan for everything. So definitely when I just hear trust God, I just like know everything's going to be okay. And like, it really keeps me like, um, yes, definitely. And I mean, that's, I mean, obviously if you can get that, knowing that, which sometimes it's easier said than done. Um, but um, especially at, at your age right now, like I think that's so key to have that in your mind, you know, as you, especially before you go on to college. Um, Cause I know at that age, I didn't have that really like, I, I mean, we always say that like, Hey, trust God, but like, do we really know, you know what that means? You know, like giving it all to God, like, Hey, kind of like we talked about earlier, like we will fail and there's going to be times in life and in sports that there's going to be just ups and downs all the time. So I love that. So now, let me ask you, and obviously this can change throughout your playing career, but right now, kind of where you sit today, what is one of your biggest strengths? When you step onto that field, what would you say is one of your biggest strengths? I would say my leadership and like my energy, just because like, I don't know, I feel like usually when I step on the field, I'm always out there just to be like the biggest leader. Mm, yeah. Because I'm not always going to be like the best hitter or the best builder, but I know if I can be the biggest leader on the field that I'm like, I'm contributing everything I can into that. And like, I know I'm good. That's something I'm good at. So I know that if my friends aren't doing so, or my teammates aren't doing so good that I know that I can pick them up and like have someone that's constantly lifting them up. So their energy is not bringing them down. Like I always have that positive energy just to like pick yourself up, do it for your team. Like it's not about you. It's about everyone. So I would say that's a really strong thing. Yeah. And I think, I mean, I think what you said is very key too, because uh, leadership doesn't always mean like, you know, I mean, obviously it comes with it sometimes because usually leaders are, you know, some of, you know, have good stats and stuff, but it doesn't always come with that. You know, sometimes leaders are, you know, they could be having a bad game and are you still going to lead? You know, like you can't just stop leading because you have a bad game because then you're not a leader. So it's kind of that, you know, catch 22 thing where it's like, man, Hey, I may be having bad, but I got to lead and help my teammates not have a bad day, you know? So I love what you said there. So now on the flip side of that, let me ask you something that you've really been trying to work on. What is that for you that you've really been focusing on and trying to work on? Definitely. I would say like overall my, just cause that's kind of the most, I would say like non-consistent thing yeah. for me. So I would now I've been doing pretty good like recently, but I've just really been working on like um, committing, like I'll oh, yeah. like be hesitating in the box, whether to swing or not. But now that I've like really worked on like seeing a pitch, taking the pitch, like I've done a lot better. So really just. Awesome. And, it, and it's all, Hey, it's always good to work on consistency, especially in, in the game of softball, whether it's in the box or on the field or, or whatever like that. So now I'm going to jump down to the portion where I call the, a uh, part that has nothing to do with your sport. I'm just going to get to know you a little bit more and have a little fun while we're doing it here. So first off, I want you to give me your favorite movie. Where the Crawdad. Is- okay, yeah, nice. Okay, I like that. My wife and I seen that in theaters. Yes. What about a go-to song? What's something you, you put on before a game or something like that? Set it off by Doozy. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. And then give me your uh, favorite food. Uh... Sushi. Okay, nice. Okay. I'm not, and then if you if you could have oh wait, go ahead, sorry. Sorry, I have a lot of favorites. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, I I'm high here on that. What about a superpower? If you could choose one superpower, what would you want? Teleportation. Nice. And then last one I got for you. If you could travel to any place, you may use your teleportation to this. So if you could do that right now, where would you want to go first? Bora Bora. Nice. Awesome. Well, thank you. So before I let you go, talk to me about like What's going on in your life right now and what you're really looking forward to in your life? Well, a lot of sports is going on. I'm doing <laughs> basketball and then I'm about to start volleyball. Also, travel softball, obviously. It's huge right now. So, been practicing that. Um, I'm really looking forward to this weekend. We go to Chattanooga. That's going to be nice. 
and I'm staying with my team and like we get a little Airbnb up in Chattanooga. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm really looking forward to that. And my birthday's coming up. So. <laughs> hey, you can't beat that. I mean, that's that's what it is. And like you said, it's a lot of sports. Um, so definitely, uh, obviously, I'm sure you've heard this a million times, but definitely enjoy it. Um, obviously, you know, you're, you got your college there and you're, you're ready to go there, but obviously you don't get another one of these, uh, you know, all the time. So enjoy it. Thank you so much. I'm glad we finally got on here. We had some yes. scheduling, uh, mishaps there, but Hey, we got you. Thank you for your time tonight. And I, I can't wait to get this up. Let other people get to know you. Thank you and have a good rest of your night. Thank you so much. Welcome. See you.